One, let's go ahead and talk about none other than the Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus and see how this phone holds up in 2021. Now what I can tell you is, is that as I always say with pretty much any phone that came out the year before, these phones are still extremely solid devices. They are not old, they are not incompatible. These phones are still killer phones for sure. It just so happens that we do get newer phones that come out that may be worthwhile updates and all that good stuff. In this specific case, I do think the S21 Plus is actually a pretty good you know upgrade in some ways but for a majority of reasons the s20 plus is still an awesome phone you have a lot of features with the s20 plus that the s21 plus actually doesn't have now if you want to pick up this phone or the s21 plus or other phones that i mentioned links will be down in the description you can get them from amazon and help support the channel at the same time now on the front of the s20 plus we do have that 6.7 inch dynamic amoled display and it is a very good panel this panel is going to be lasting forever and i have said this before i do think this is one of the phones that the panel is so good that it's going to outlast the phone itself like 10 years from now we're still going to be looking at this phone's panel and being so surprised about it it curves on the sides which is so beautiful it's 1440p and it's 120 hertz those are some very solid features to have on a device like this and as i mentioned before that is seriously something that is very impressive and i've always liked having this type of capability on this device and it's a hole punch display so it looks beautiful it still looks great fingerprint sensor in the display as well and it's a very solid panel for sure USB type C on the bottom. You have a micro SD card slot on this phone, which is better than the no micro SD card slot that we have on the Galaxy S21 Plus. So again, another pretty big advantage that we have on this phone that we don't necessarily have on something like the newer S21 Plus. So again, that's another thing to keep in mind. And on the back, we have the glass back, which looks good still, but this is one of those things with the S21 Plus actually looks a little bit better. The S21 Plus, as you guys know, has that frosted glass back, and I've always liked something like that more than the standard glass back that we have on this phone. So again, another small little thing that we have that was upgraded on the S21 Plus but most of the time you're going to be throwing a case on it, so I think it's okay. And you have that kind of quadruple camera setup on the back as well. For sure, the feeling of this phone feels great. You have IP certification on this thing, and you have that micro SD card slot. Those are some very strong suits about this phone that's going to make it last for an insanely long amount of time for sure. So when it comes down to that, you know, in terms of the body and the outside and the exterior, thumbs up for me for sure. It's a solid contender 100%. Now hitting on the cameras, as I mentioned last year, this was probably one of the best cameras of last year. Obviously the S20 Ultra is probably the better one of that year, but you have that quadruple camera setup kind of. So you have that 12 megapixel wide angle lens, 64 megapixel telephoto lens, a 12 megapixel ultra wide sensor, and then a 0.3 megapixel 3D lens, the you know depth sensor at the core. Now I have said year after year, Samsung's lenses are probably the best lenses of that year. And this camera is no exception. First of all, you have that triple camera threat that I always say. You have that wide angle, telephoto, and ultra wide lens. So you can literally go ahead and just zoom in as much as you want to, zoom out as much as you want to, and you have a very, very solid wide angle lens as well, which as I said before, is probably one of, if not the best, you know, lens of last year. And that is a very strong asset for it. So really, as I mentioned, whatever you're going to do with it, it's going to be able to handle it. You can go ahead and take indoor photos, outdoor photos, photos in low light conditions, the software is great, the computations behind the camera are awesome, whatever that means, and you have a ton of features built into the camera. One thing that I can never knock Samsung up is their software for their camera. I can knock it for their actual software with Win UI 3 and 4 and whatever is going to come out, but this specific camera software, they just throw everything they have in their camera software, which is amazing, and they have now pro video mode, and you have 8K capability as well, which is another massive update. And on the front, you have that 10 megapixel wide angle lens. You can do 4K at 60 on that specific camera as well. And again, it's just another W in my standpoint. This camera for sure is one of the best cameras of last year, and it still completely holds up in 2021. That pretty much covers it up in the camera standpoint. Now hitting on two of the probably better assets of this phone, the software, which I'm not super happy about, but it keeps getting better and better, which makes me you know more happier about it, but also the battery. So first of all, the software, it started off with One UI 2. Right now it is getting One UI 3. It already got it for a lot of people. It's probably going to be getting One UI 4 and then maybe, you know, One UI 5, who knows? But here's the best thing. Samsung, even since this phone's released, has increased the lifespan of this phone software. They just recently, within the last month or two, increased the security update software. And this makes me actually pretty happy. You know, when I first heard the, you know, software update, actual one, that was crazy. I did not expect Samsung to do that right now. And they did it. You know, I kind of wanted 
wanted to keep complaining about it, to be honest, but I'm glad they fixed it. I just hope they go ahead and fix their software itself because I want a more stock experience. I don't like having all this bloatware everywhere. I wish it was, it doesn't even have to be completely stock, but if they moved in that direction, that would be awesome. And the fact that they're listening to some people and they're increasing their lifespan makes me kind of happy because Samsung may actually take the approach and increase their, you know, maybe they'll stick with stock software and go back to it. They've kind of done it before with the partnership with Google with the, you know, Galaxy Nexus. And there was another Nexus they made, I think, with the Nexus S. So it'd be really cool if they did it. You can always throw a custom launcher, but I can tell you it's not the same. I really hope Samsung switches back to that or switches to that in the first place. But on top of that, as I mentioned before, the security updates, we're getting a little bit of a, you know, addition there too, which is awesome. But the battery life of this phone, as I mentioned before, is solid. You have a 4,500 milliampere battery on this specific device, and that is a massive size battery. You have wireless charging and reverse wireless charging on this phone, which is killer. You have a massive size battery. This thing's going to be lasting you for a very, long time in terms of the battery life and i've said this before and i'll say it again year after year it's going to be a solid battery life that even two three four five years from now it's still going to be a big size battery in my opinion if you look back even like just three years ago four years ago we're still in that same range you know if you look at the iphone 6 plus that battery size on that phone isn't really that much better and in case in some ways it's worse than the iphone you know 12 pro which is crazy so take it as you will but that's pretty much what i'm saying in terms of the battery life now ending it off with the performance we have that Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 chipset, an octa-core CPU, an Adreno 650 GPU, and there's only one model of this phone with 8 gigabytes of RAM, and this phone's performance, as you guys could have expected, is still really, really good. This is a solid performing phone. Of course, the S21 Plus is going to be a little bit faster here and there, but again, it's like it's the fastest phone from last year. It's still an extremely fast phone. Again, the, the S20 Ultra, Note 20 Ultras, those are the faster Android phones, but the S20 Plus is right there. The only issue I can even think of you thinking about that this phone is a slow performing phone is again, we had that new Snapdragon 888, but on top of that, no 12 or 16 gigs of RAM. That's maybe the only other issue I can think of, but even that isn't an issue. You already know what you're getting when you're getting this phone. And I really did kind of wish they maybe went up to like 10 or 12 gigs of RAM. I think that would have been cooler, but I totally think with the, you know, eight gig of RAM option that this thing is, it's totally okay and it's totally understandable. And, you know, year after year, month after month, this phone's performance is going to be solid. Whether you're doing, you know, heavy intensive gaming, super intensive, you know, video editing or photo editing or whatever the case is. As I mentioned before, this thing is is going to be able to handle almost everything you throw at it. Again, it's not going to be perfect, but for a majority of people, it's going to be able to handle it. Now, on top of that, because this phone doesn't have a crazy amount of RAM, you may think it doesn't, you know, handle everything you throw at it or whatever. It's going to be able to handle it as long as you're not comparing it side by side to another faster phone, you're going to be okay. From my experience of using this phone, it was perfectly fine. And I'm sure from a lot of other people's experience, it's going to be totally fine as well. So in terms of that, that pretty much covers it up. Now to kind of sum up this video and say answer the question, should you go and buy a Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus in 2021? Well, this is what I'll tell you. This is a no-brainer. This phone is still completely worth it in pretty much every single dimension that you can possibly say. It is worth it in not only like a monetary sense because it's gotten cheaper and, you know, price tag, but also the, there's just not that much to complain about. The only thing I can complain about about this phone is the software. Other than that, I think it's just a solid phone all around. You're getting a very beautiful front screen. That screen on the front is beautiful. USB-C with Samsung DeX, which is just a plus in and of itself. Camera hole, hole plus display, you know, with that camera on the front, which is great. The camera on the back is amazing still. It's a solid camera for sure. Reverse wireless charging. You have the micro SD card slot. Dude, there's just so much to love about this phone. The battery life on this phone is crazy. The performance of this phone is still top tier. There is very little things or very few things to complain about this phone. The only thing, as I mentioned before, that I can complain about even slightly is the software. But as I mentioned before, as more time progresses, I kind of get happier and happier with the software. Not necessarily the software itself, but for example, the longevity. We're kind of getting a longer software supported phone now, which again is another huge plus point. And on top of that, we're getting, you know, security updates that have improved. So I think that's a really cool thing that Samsung is doing. A lot of improvements that have came with this phone isn't necessarily with this phone specifically, but it's with all Samsung phones that, you know, are supported still. So take it as you will, but that's kind of what I'm saying right now. And I think the Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus is a no brainer and it's still completely worth it in 2021. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. 
Send me so much if you guys get hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.